Most have heard of the story of Atlantis, a lost city that was once home to a great civilization. But what if the location of this fabled city is not just a myth? Could its true location be the exotic Azores Islands? Join us as we explore the possibility that the lost city of Atlantis is hidden among the islands of the Azores. Atlantis has inspired and fascinated many throughout history. Myth has it that Atlantis was swallowed up by the ocean around 12,000 years ago. In Plato's dialogues, Atlantis is described in detail as a group of islands located in the Atlantic. This description matches up perfectly with the Azores Islands, a group of islands 900 miles west of the Portuguese coast. Researchers have found evidence of Atlantis-esque ruins on one of the archipelagos in this region. Archaeologists from the Portuguese Association of Archaeological Research have found evidence that suggests humans did live in the Azores many thousands of years before the Portuguese discovered the group of islands in the year 1427. The archipelago consists of nine volcanic islands where scientists believe that only one or two existed previously. What's more, the mountainous terrain is riddled with underwater canyons and crevices, all pointing to archaeological sites lying just beneath the waves. The nine islands of the Azores have long played an intriguing role in European history. Despite their relatively small size, they managed to capture the attention of all who passed their way, much like the nine muses famed in Greek mythology. It is almost as if each island is symbolic of one of these powerful figures. This representation has endured for centuries and continues to captivate people to this day. Another argument for the Azores being the true location of Atlantis is the prospect of volcanoes being responsible for Atlantis's demise. It should be noted that off the coast of Greece, there are many islands that were formed from volcanic activity. Given the location, it is plausible to think that if Atlantis did exist, it could have very well been destroyed or submerged due to a volcanic eruption. It's interesting to note that while this could explain why Atlantis vanished so suddenly, thousands of years later the mountains of the Azores still remain as monuments to what could have happened. In 2013, a submerged pyramid-shaped mound was detected by Diocletiano Silva, a local sailor who was looking for good fishing grounds near the Azores. It was discovered between the islands of Tertera and São Miguel, the biggest island on the archipelago, and it is said that the structure is perfectly square. Its location is an area of the Atlantic Ocean that has been covered by water for around 20,000 years, coinciding with the last great ice age of the Northern Hemisphere, where the glaciers started melting 2,000 years earlier. The structure, which was discovered using a GPS device, is believed to measure 60 meters in height and has a base covering 8,000 square meters the finding was investigated by the Portuguese Navy at the request of the Azorean regional government. Although many would like to believe that the lost city of Atlantis had finally been found, the Portuguese Navy suspects the sailor may have detected a large submarine volcano located between the Azorean islands of São Miguel and Terceira. With our ever-advancing technology, it stands to reason that if Atlantis was ever an actual physical place, then it will eventually be discovered while some interesting theories exist for its true location, so far, concrete evidence has eluded researchers. This ultimately leaves us with a deep-rooted mystery. There is much to consider when comparing the description of Atlantis in Plato's dialogues to the Azores Islands. However, the case for the Azores is ultimately only circumstantial. Only time will tell if Atlantis will ever be found. Thank you for watching. Support the channel by liking and subscribing.